On wings stretched wider than men are tall, a bald eagle glides, not bound by the ground or even fighting against the air. An eagle is a jet of a bird, up, down, in tight control. The eagle's deep gaze comes from eyes eight times as powerful as our own. A hood of bone adds clarity by shading the glare of the sun. As a predator, an eagle reacts quickly. Instead of cunning, it depends on strength and speed. With the ability to dive at up to 60 miles an hour and two-inch talons that grab prey in a lockdown death grip. The large hooked beak is built for ripping flesh. Although bald eagles scavenge weak or injured waterfowl, fish, like shad, are their most common food. In the wild, bald eagles live up to 25 years, if they're lucky. Adult males and females look similar, but the females are slightly larger, weighing as much as 15 pounds. Bald eagles mate for life. Together, the pairs build the largest of bird nests, up to seven feet wide and 10 feet thick. They often return and add to an old nest year after year, raising one to three eaglets each season. After hatching in early spring, young birds spend about three months in the nest before they're ready to fly. Bald eagles are slow to mature. As they do, their feathers change from solid brown to a more mottled brown. Not until they're four to five years old will they finally get the adult white feathers on the head and tail, yellow in the beak and eyes, and be old enough to mate. Some Native Americans consider the eagle a sacred bird, a guardian of the people. The eagle feathers were symbols of great deeds done.
The bald eagle became the emblem of the U.S. in 1782. At that time, bald eagles nested throughout much of the continent. In Missouri, nests were common sights along the rivers as well as in the southeast swamps. But as the nation grew, the birds suffered. Wetland habitats were damaged or destroyed. The eagles were shot for their feathers or for no reason at all. At the turn of the century, the bald eagle populations in North America had been decimated. They further declined in the 1950s and 60s when it was discovered that DDT was causing the eggs to be so thin that when the female sat on the nest, the eggs were being crushed. By the 1960s, no eggs hatched in the last active nest in Missouri. Something had to be done. The protection of the bald eagle was enhanced by number one, the ban of DDT. And number two, in 1972, the Eagle Act was amended to a felony where a person could be subjected to $10,000 fine and two years in prison or both. In 1981, the Missouri Department of Conservation, along with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and Dickerson Park Zoo, began a 10-year effort to bring eagles back to Missouri. Lots of kinds of birds tend to nest where they're raised. Bald eagles are the same. And uh, to get them started nesting in Missouri again, we brought in young eagles from other places. They were taken from nests in Alaska and Wisconsin where they have healthy populations. And we also got them from zoos. We raised them in artificial nests at wetland sites in Missouri. And when they were about 11 or 12 weeks old, just before they were released, they were banded and tagged so that we could keep track of where they were going. Seventy-four bald eagles were set free in Missouri during the 10-year hacking effort. Just five years later, more than 10 eagle nests had appeared in the state. Banding the young helps conservation biologists keep track of their movement and survival. We've done a lot of work for the bald eagle, but the work is certainly not done. Now that we have bald eagles nesting in Missouri, we need to protect those few nest sites that we have. Although they had completely stopped nesting here from the 1960s into the early 1980s, bald eagles continued to migrate from the north and winter in Missouri along with occasional golden eagles from the west. More eagles winter in Missouri than in most other states. Today, they still gather along open waters where they can find fish, or in places like wildlife refuges where they can feed on geese and other waterfowl. About one-third of the eagles are immature birds. We do a count of the wintering bald eagles here every January. It's an attempt to keep track of how well they're doing. Back in the 70s, we counted fewer than 700 bald eagles in the state. During recent winters, we've counted over 2,000, showing that they're making a very dramatic comeback. Though they're not tolerant of other birds or even people when they're nesting, Bald eagles roost in larger groups in winter. They can be seen perched in large trees along the edge of rivers and lakes.
The peak number of birds in Missouri gather in December and January. That's when people gather too for a chance to see them. They spot the birds on their own or with the help of special Missouri Department of Conservation events like Eagle Days. There's some flying in there right now. How many do you see? No, I don't. There's some over in that tree over there too. There's from the big dark one. You'll see one tree in the center of like that cove, and then you'll see another two. Oh yeah, I see some. Here you go. One flying around. Well, this is Phoenix. She was hatched in a wild nest in the Flambeau River in the north woods of Wisconsin. She was brought into Missouri for the release program for some reason, and we don't know why. She did not do very well after she was released. We are very pleased that we did manage to save her life. Even though she can't be released, she has become the ambassador of her species to the people of Missouri. Eagles up close are impressive, imposing. When they fly, there's something even more, a sense of incredible freedom as they arc through the air. Though they're still far from common, bald eagles return in greater numbers each year. Protecting the wetlands and the birds has made a difference. And so the work will continue to create a place where once again, the eagles soar. Thank you.